Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a double upload talking about a free pack that is coming very soon to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team that could guarantee you a free Mbappe card in FIFA 22. Now, it sounds kind of wild. It's not actually that crazy, but... This is something that I think is going to impact the game and impact the market actually a little bit because EA is giving out this free pack to basically everybody. All you have to do is log on to the game and you're going to get one of these six player items, the next generation star players, I believe, as they are labeled. This is all going down on Wednesday, December 15th uh, for basically a month. You'll be able to log in and get this pack. So I want to talk about what this pack is, the players available from it, and uh, what we can kind of expect when this gets dropped on Wednesday. Now, again, we've seen EA tweet out this stuff in the past like couple weeks. Again, they show here this 86 rated Mbappe. This is the card that basically everybody is going to want to go after and hope that they get from this pack, right? There's really only a few good options as a lot of these cards that are available as these next generation items have obviously better items in game but if ea is going to give you a free one uh you know a lot of people will take it right so we'll talk about how this is going to impact the market but let's look at the cards first from this pack right it's called a next generation player item and it's basically going to be one of these players untradeable uh you're going to be getting a pack right it's probably going to show up in the store like this like david beckham last year it's the same scenario right it's going to show up in the store it'll say next generation player item and basically you know, you're going to open that pack and you're going to get one of these six players. The pack has been added uh, to the code, as you can see here, next generation's player. So it's it's literally going to look like this. It's going to say next generation's player. It's going to be a pack. I do not believe that's a player pick. It would be absolutely insane if it was a player pick because with only six cards available. Then you're like, oh man, I have a really good shot at Mbappe here, or at least Teo Hernandez. I think those are the top two that are going to be available from this. So let me take a look at the cards and talk about why this is, you know, kind of hype, but also not that hype in the grand scheme of things for like the a meta for the for the cards in this game. But this is still going to swing the market, in my opinion, because people are going to be getting a lot like these cards uh, for free, right? There's going to be a lot of people that will get an 86 Mbappe. A lot of people will be getting a, um, you know, a Phil Foden they might want to use or a Teo Hernandez, right? So let's take a look at these cards and kind of talk this through and how it's going to work. So the six cards that are available, right? A Kylian Mbappe, the flashback, basically what people thought was going to be the flashback. Now, of course, if you look at this item, 86 rated left wing with 90 pace, 84 dribbling, 68 physical, 78 shot, and 74 passing. It's not, it's definitely a lower rated Mbappe. Compare that to his gold card with 97 pace, 88 shooting. It's like almost minus 10 on all the stat categories uh, going through his entire card, right? So 97 pace, you still have the 90, but 78 shooting, you go down 10, you go, you go down to 74 passing from 80. So it's definitely a an Mbappe card that is not near as good as his gold. I don't expect to see like panic selling on Mbappe. I mean, right now Mbappe is obviously down a lot from where he was on the weekend, right? On Saturday, he was like 1.3, uh, 1.38 mil. Actually on Wednesday before this weekend with the foot versus promo, um, he has dropped down in price a lot because of the mid base icon species that is out as well. I don't think that these cards are really going to crash the market. What I really think it's going to do is make some link investments to a few of these go up a little bit. And again, I just wanted to bring this video to talk about this because anytime there's a free Mbappe or a card like this that is available, even though it's a lower rated version of that item, I mean, people are going to get excited for it and there's going to be some things that will move on the market. So obviously Mbappe is what everybody wants from this pack. Eduard Kamavinga is another one. This is very similar to Kamavinga's ones to watch. It's literally the exact same card, slightly less stats. Uh, so that will be like what most people will get, but they might not actually want. Jude Bellingham gets himself another card as well, very similar to his inform. Stats are almost the exact same. And then Phil Foden. Phil Foden is one of the top three cards from this pack, I believe, that people would want to get. This is a decent upgrade over his 84 rated gold card, but it's almost the same in stats as his inform. It just has the position change. So if you kind of imagine this Phil Foden inform, 
um, right here with the position change and like minus one pace. That's kind of what this next generation star uh, player is. Now we just had the Christian Pulisic SBC. So a lot of people are like this Pulisic card is not as hype as it was maybe going to look. Um, but you know, to be fair, the card designs for these cards are pretty dope. Like this, this ge next generation star item, which I don't even know if we've seen it added to the, the, co the code or the database yet, but um, that is not something that we're like worried about because this is 100% confirmed to be this Wednesday with this Mbappe, uh, you know, EA's been tweeting all of this out. So it's nothing like we're waiting to see if this gets released or waiting for code or waiting for a car design. Like this is legit. It will be coming out on Wednesday. And the last card, and this one for most people in FIFA might be the most desirable, right? For most of us, this might be the most desirable card. Teo Hernandez, 94 pace, 78 passing, 72 shooting, 83 dribbling, 78 defense, and 83 physical. If you compare that to any card in this game, it, this game, it's actually very close to his inform, and his inform is 170,000 coins with the French links uh, and being one of the most popular left backs in the game that this Teo Hernandez is. I really think that this Teo Hernandez card is going to be the one that would be the most usable for people in FIFA. I'm really hoping that I pack this card. He would slot right into the side. So Teo Hernandez, Phil Foden, and Mbappe are kind of like the most popular ones, of course, um, from these from these cards that are going to be getting released today now again if you look in like the frequently asked questions i believe it's down here below the players what is a next generation player item it's basically they're giving out one of these free cards for um to celebrate some of the big up-and-coming stars in football um and it their ratings kind of correspond to a decisive moment of course if ea is giving out a free item they're not going to give out like gold Mbappe to everybody. That would be crazy, especially at this stage of the year. They're going to be giving out these cards, as we see, that are lower rated than most of their versions already in game. Now, who gets this, right? Literally everyone, unless you're playing on the uh, Nintendo Switch, uh, gets this card. It's not just for next gen players, right? It is for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PC, and Stadia. And it's starting on December 15th. So basically... Um, you're going to log on to FIFA on December 15th. I don't think you have to play a game. I don't think you have to have, you know, done anything special as long as you have FIFA, as it says here, if you have FIFA 22 standard edition and ultimate edition, um, if you bought the game and you have the game, when you sign in, the pack is going to, it's going to show up in the store. Kind of like we had the screenshot from last year for David Beckham. It's going to show up in the store, uh, at some point on Wednesday. I don't know what time it's going to be. I would imagine that it would probably be, um, you know, after midnight UK time. I don't know if it's going to be like the ones to watch pack where it's like sitting in your club uh, or the or the free hero pack as part of the pre-order ultimate edition of FIFA. That was like released at midnight UK. I think this one's more of when you log in, then you will have a little screen pop up and they'll say next generation player item and then it'll be in the store. So um, basically th the reason why this does impact the game a decent amount is because everybody is going to get it. If you think about it this way, this pack that, that they are putting out and this this next gen player pack has almost the exact same qualities as what a preview pack would have, right? Because everybody's going to be able to go on the game if they log in before January 14th, uh, which, you know, obviously starting December 15th, if you're watching this video, you play FIFA pretty often. So you're going to log in and see it. Uh, so it's just like everybody's going to get one of these cards. Now it's going to you know, how many people in FIFA are actually going to use the cards that they drop? Besides Teo Hernandez, maybe the Mbappe, maybe the Phil Foden. I don't think there would be a ton uh, of, you know, like market movements. You might see a few people start to sell off. Like the most, the, the, the cards that I would expect maybe to drop a little bit would be like Teo Hernandez, right? If Teo Hernandez's inform were to drop off a little bit, you know, that could be something that would be a market movement that we might expect to see heading into Wednesday. Uh, but to be completely honest, what I would more expect is to see like the links to Ateo Hernandez and links uh, to maybe Mbappe, like some of your league on your cheaper links, right? Because if you think about this, a lot of the casual user base cannot afford an Mbappe or maybe you can't even afford a Teo Hernandez like this. But if they get one of these cards from this next generation star pack, then they actually might go out and buy a few of the cheaper cards that link to these items. So you might see a few of them go up, right? If EA is putting out free cards on the game, the ones that people are going to want to use, those links to those cards might rise a little bit. So like for Phil Foden, for Mbappe, and for 
uh, this Teo Hernandez card. Like for maybe Teo Hernandez, you would want to keep an eye on, on some of your Serie A center backs. The one that comes to mind right now would be ones to watch Tamori, of course. Uh, with that green link. Now, there's definitely some more options out there, and Tamori is not a super cheap card, but especially if you are able to even, if you're able to get the uh, the Hernandez, like, that's a dub, right? That would be, like, that'd be a tremendous dub, and to be completely honest, it seems like since there's only six cards available from this pack, yes, the pack weight's probably going to be pretty high on, you know, um, like, Bellingham and Kamavinga, right? But if as long as you don't get Bellingham or Kamavinga or maybe Pulisic, you know, Foden, Hernandez, and Mbappe, you're probably not too mad about. So, you know, that's kind of what I'll be looking out for is for Phil Foden, Teo Hernandez, and Mbappe links, especially for an Mbappe card, right? I really love this foot freeze versus um, Claude Maurice. And I actually bought a few of these. He's going out of packs today uh, at like 37,000 coins last night because I just think that for 90 pace, I know there's a new version coming out today. I'm going to take the risk um, and hope that the new version is, you know, maybe not as hype, maybe doesn't have 90 pace or does not look as good as this ice or as this fire version. I'm hoping the ice one does not look as good. Um, and that's a little bit of a gamble, but I just think that this card would be a perfect one that somebody who packed that Mbappe would insert this straight into their team to link to that Mbappe card, right? So since it's hot, it's fresh, and this pack is coming out on a Wednesday, that's kind of what I'm thinking for, you know, an Mbappe. So that's kind of what I would imagine would happen on the market. Again, I really don't think that you would see so much panic selling on many of the cards that are on this game. If you do see panic selling on like Mbappe's gold card, if you see panic selling on like Phil Foden's rule breakers, which he is down right now, 303 is pretty low, but that's just with the general market dropping anyways. Uh, or if you saw like Teo Hernandez's inform or maybe even his gold card, I, I would imagine you would see Teo Hernandez's gold card drop off a bit. But if you see panic selling on his inform, uh, you know, I would look to get involved with some of that because I think that could bounce back because apart from these, you know, those couple players, um, I don't think that these guys are going to get used that much in game. Even Mbappe, I know that Mbappe's card is, it's going to feel like Mbappe in game, but it's definitely not going to feel as, you know, as good because Mbappe with minus 10 shooting, you're going to have like, you know, 82 positioning, 83 finishing, 78 shot power, right? So it's going to be a big downgrade on a card like this, but also the fact that you can get a potentially free Mbappe for your ultimate team is kind of a dub. It looks like a nice card. That card design is pretty sick. So I don't think it's going to be an absolutely crazy day on the market, but as they show here, maybe somebody packs a Mbappe and wants to link a Betty Pelé, right? I really think though that you would see the most market impact on some of those lower tier link investments. And if people start buying those up ahead of Wednesday, you know, you might have to get in earlier than later. Um, but I would say I wouldn't put a ton of coins into this because I don't think it's like a crazy, you know, I don't think the market's going to boom or, or bust when this um, comes out. But I, I do think that you will see a, a few of these cards in people's teams, namely the Foden, Hernandez, and Mbappe. Those would be the three that would make it into people's sides. So I want to know what you guys think about this because I'm, this is dope, right? It's it's dope because they're giving out free stuff. It's kind of like a preview pack. It's They're okay cards. Um, you know, of course, there's some in there that aren't that great looking, but the card design is cool. Um, I like that they I like that they've wanted to give out something for free like uh the last two years if you've played FIFA again last year was the David Beckham last year with the Beckham card we saw a lot of hunter chemistry styles go up because when people get a free item right they're going to use it they're going to go and try it out so people that get this free item that's why I really think you would see link investments to Mbappe Teo Hernandez and Phil Foden go up uh, because those are cards and even Kamavinga would be a card that people would probably insert in their teams uh, and already have links to with Fakir and Benzema and stuff. But I think for like those three cards that I mentioned, there might be a few cards that link to those that do rise just purely because of the fact that people are going to want to try them out when they get that card. It happened the same thing last year with David Beckham. Uh, English icons went up last year in the links to this card because literally everybody got it. Uh, and there's going to be a ton of these cards distributed because literally everybody who gets on FIFA this Wednesday uh, for the next month is going to have an opportunity to get one of these cards. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this. I had to make a video about it because even though it, it feels like it's not that hype for some of us, like, man, who cares about these cards except for Teo Hernandez or maybe Mbappe? Um, I mean, it still is going to impact the market and it still is impacting this game because everybody is going to have one of these cards untradeable um, as of Wednesday on this game. So let me know again down in the comments what you think and which one of these you would like to pack if you could choose, even though it's going to be a pack. It's not a player pick. 
Of course, I think Teo Hernandez is like for the most meta option. Most people uh, would want this card. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.